Hello. So we are back. Wednesday. And, uh, you know, we changed some things here. Hopefully it's Wednesday. It is Wednesday. So we have a brand new computer. No, brand new computer. No, we have a different computer. A better one. I clean everything on my desk. But this table is not the... It's not the one which... Uh, which I want and will be replaced in the future, hopefully. Anyway, let's start fixing something. Yeah. I don't have too many video, video fixing monitors, so we have a monitor job. And uh, yeah, let's see, let's see. So I haven't checked anything. I didn't even look on the monitor. Now let 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 me explain you about monitors, fixing monitors. You'll not see too many people fixing monitors. I'll explain you why. This is a VGA monitor. We are selling this for 15, 20 pound. Like okay, second hand, but working. The VGA monitors. Okay, this customer I don't know if it's a normal customer or not. Probably it's normal, but he doesn't want another one. He wants this to be fixed. For some reason, the monitor is getting fit on some something. I don't know. So this job... You know, I explain him. We can fix it. It will be a lot. It's, it's about the time, not necessary by the parts, yeah? So I explain, you know what? If I will fix it, I will charge the same like repairing a TV. 60 pounds. And he said yes. So we have to fix this. Yeah, so that's the job, that's the receipt, we booked in the job for £60. There's no point hiding the price, just to make you understand, actually it's not worth fixing VGA monitors. So, I have no idea what's going on with this one. It's coming with... Uh, with the power. Eight volts, three point six amps. Really? Eight volts. Eight volts, three point six amps. How a monitor can work with eight volts? Do you think it's working with eight volts? So it's not saying on the monitor the voltage. We have the charging plug there, but I can't see anywhere the voltage. But really, I doubt it. You know, it's working with 8 volts. Can be, I don't know. It's kind of weird, you know, 8 volts. So, what monitor is? So, it's no brand, no model, yeah? Possible to be from some uh, cash machine or uh, so we have no brand name. Nothing like it's it's no writing on this monitor. Nothing. Nothing. That's crazy. So we don't even know what voltage is supposed to be here. Possible here to be some speakers. No, we have no speakers, sorry. No, no, nothing. Here he's saying some things like caution and blah blah blah, nothing else. Houston, we have a problem. And the problem is, I don't believe. This monitor is working with 8 volts. Can be because it's 3.6 amps there. I think the best thing is to open this and try to figure it out. From what we have on the board.
So if the customer want to fix this, let's fix it. If he is willing to pay 60 pounds for this, who am I to judge that? Let's fix it. Okay. So how this is supposed to be open? From here? I'm trying to do some changes here, around here. Change few things on my desk. Okay, this is a touch screen. Yeah, so definitely some uh, some cash machine. I can see the touch screen behind the frame. Yeah, so this you see this from here. So this, this is a touch screen. The buttons are here. We have a LED here. I'm just curious. So actually the monitor is good and the people they probably they try and replace the power supply and now we have a lot of customers they come here. Oh, I'm looking for a charger with this connector. Okay. What about some voltage and some amps? Hmm? Probably that's why it's no brand and no model on this because it's a uh, you know okay it is a LCD because it has an inverter this is from the touch screen so we can take this out good this is from the monitor give me one second yeah, that's the one. So again, what voltage is supposed to be here? Hmm? How can I do it? We have a classic inverter. We have the charging connector with the wires are coming here. Here indeed we have a switching power supply which is this. We have a linear regulator which is here. This is the touchscreen board. This is the video board. So how we can fix this? In one second. One second. Okay. So let's see. No, this connector is from here. The one from the charging port. Oh, this is from the charging port. Let's check to be sure here. Yeah? Let's see. Diode mode plus 
and it's coming here okay let's get the power supply let's try with 8.5 volts let's see what's going on so plus is oh. you see that's the point when the manufacturer try to trick you we usually on the plus and minus you use always black color for the minus but here we have yellow and red so which one is the ground that's ground so yellow is ground yeah yellow is ground now give me one second give me one second let's see minus red is plus and we have red light here you know what maybe it's right maybe it's working with a volts Let's plug the charger and check. Yeah. Let's see. Plugged in. And the red light is blinking from some reason. Unless it volts. And the voltage goes up and down on the charger, you can see. Up and down. A volts is going down. 3.5 A volts. 6. You see, that's not normal. So with my power supply, let's unplug this. My power supply is working fine, 8.5 volts. So we have, okay, that's wrong. That's right. The red light is stable. It's taking 60 milliamps and they have a stable light <clears throat> you see what nice is when you have a current current uh, limit on the power supply so even if you do something wrong you are safe like I did I split the plus and minus <clears throat> that's why I always explain you use a current limit because you never know what can go wrong we are humans, we are doing mistakes. So you know what I think? I think our monitor is good. I think actually the problem is the charger. I think indeed it's working with A volts. But this is faulty. It's an unusual voltage, A volts. 3.6 amps how we can fix this I'm sure probably inside we have like dry capacitors mm -hmm. I have a bad happy habit to hurt myself every time when it's about doing a mechanical uh, job like this <clears throat> I 
it's so cold it's around 10 degrees over the night and the daytime is like six degrees What did I told you? Look at the capacitors. They have a bump. I don't know if you can see them. You see, this is a faulty capacitor. Let me try to power up the microscope. <clears throat> it's not even poor changing anything. When you have these kind of capacitors, yeah. So you can see the capacitors, they all have a bump, here, 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 yeah. so that's the problem with this power supply. A nice switching power supply. The capacitor are the value sixteen volts four hundred seventy micro. Let me find something here. Yeah? Let me try and find something. Okay, these are too big. Four seventy twenty five volts, which is fantastic. Okay, let's do it quickly. So, minus it's on that side. You know how it is that Christmas is coming? We have to buy presents. We'll have a great time with the family. December is nice. I'll have two weeks off. Two weeks. Which is great. Minus plus. So you see, try to pay attention when you open a. You know, let's take all out. Pay attention to the capacitor when you open um, a TV. I see on this capacitor on TV a lot, on desktop computers, on motherboards, and on any other power supply, which is you know. Come on. That's out, and I have one more. So I know this strike is minus. Great, so we have three capacitors, so let's replace quick. Minus plus, plus, minus, so that's in, the next one. Plus, minus. 
minus that's in and one more plus and minus Let's solder the pins quickly. Everything is perfect. Let's use a nail cutter. Yeah. Twenty five. Yeah. Everything is fine. Let's put this back. try to great fantastic the moment of true let's test it I see Let's plug the charger and the red light is solid. You can see here and the voltage must be stable. Eight point two stable. So it's not jumping anymore. Okay? So I think we are ready just to test our monitor. Hmm? What do you think? Yeah, probably some custom device, custom monitor. Good. Good, everything looks fine. Let's test. Uh, probably we have that drive. Yeah. Power. And nothing. Hmm. We shall have some picture or something. We need a PC. Oh, we have picture. Sorry. 
we do have picture. We have a menu. No signal. So it is working. It is working. How can I test that? Well, it is working. Obviously, it was a it was a power issue. We need a VGA connection. But everything from here is HDMI. How can I test it? Let me see. Give me one second. Yeah, we do have a PC here. I found a PC. Let's try. Let's see. VG. A power cable. Power cable. Power. And the LED, LED is green and is displaying. You can see Intel and blah 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 and yeah. The monitor is working fine. But this is the first monitor which I seen with uh, a volt. That's crazy. Yeah, obviously we have to reconsider the price. Because it was not such a big deal. But yeah, keep in mind. Like 50% from these old things. TVs, monitors, motherboard. A lot of motherboards with, with, with blow up capacitors. Keep in mind and pay attention on the capacitor. If he is, has, a, has a bump, is gone. So if the internal resistance is very high. Yeah. Okay. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. Hopefully we can find a better job. I didn't think it would be so easy this one. Yeah, but it was easy. And see you on the next one, yeah? Bye.